Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new knife that I just received from Tack Knives. Now, um, I was pretty excited when this box came in the mail. I actually didn't even know that I was receiving this, but what really got me excited was the size of this box. Uh, if you guys have ever ordered from Tack Knives or if you've seen videos of folks that do reviews on Tack Knife Knives, um, you know that they usually have um, folders out the front. They do carry a couple of gravity knives and things like that. So for the most part, it's smaller, either foldable knives or out the front and stuff like that. So when I saw this larger box, I was pretty intrigued. And there was a note that came with the box and it talks about this is actually their first fixed blade knife. So that is really, really cool. Now, again, if you've seen some of the videos, you know that tack knife knives usually come in some really nice packaging. So if you see, this is just a standard cardboard box. Now the note does say that they were kind of in a rush to get these out. So unfortunately they didn't have those boxes. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you do decide to order this knife, depending on if they decide to do boxes for them, it might come in a slightly nicer box, but if not, it'll just come in a regular box like this. If you really don't care about the boxes like I do and just throw them away, then you know it's really not a big deal um, as long as everything that comes with the knife is inside of the box. Now, this is not gonna be a full-blown review on the knife because I've only had it for a little bit. I've carried it off and on as part of my EDC. So this is gonna be not a first impressions, not an initial impressions, but not a full-blown review. So just keep that in mind. I went ahead and repackaged everything the way it normally comes just so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, this knife is actually called the Marlin and the story behind it is they're uh, being from Miami they wanted to no name this uh, knife after the marlin and they tried to make sure that the knife um, represents the traits of a marlin which are fierce fast and agile so let's go ahead and take a look at the knife and basically everything that comes with it you do get a couple of goodies inside of here so first things first is the knife inside of the sheath and then you have a pocket clip here and then this actually comes with a secondary pocket clip. So that was really cool. Um, I wasn't really expecting that. I like when companies kind of put some thought behind how the users are going to be using their knives, especially how they're going to be carrying it and give you different options. And that's exactly what they've done here. So let's go ahead and let's see, what do we look at first? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the sheet here. First things first, nice uh, plain Kydex sheath. Um, you do get a lot of the... Uh, the attachment points all around here. So, you know, depending on how you want to go ahead and set this knife up, you'll be able to do that. Again, it's just um, basically two pieces of Kydex. Um, it makes it really thin, which is nice also. And it's not more than what you need from the knife itself. So I like that. So the first clip I'll show you guys here. Um, this is just going to be a, um, what they call a simple belt clip but I do like the way that they've made this clip. And again, inside of the bag there, you have all the hardware. So you have the screws, um, you have the washers and all that. But um, this is the clip here and they call it a simple clip uh, just because it's one piece of metal that's actually kind of um, folded over right there. And basically what you do is depending on how you're gonna carry this, either left or right handed, um, you would just attach it onto, you know, um, you know, the side that you want to do it. And then if you guys see right there, you just kind of thread your belt or you can actually clip it over your belt. And then at the end here, they actually um, kind of looped it around. So that way it'll stay on your belt when you um, unsheath the knife, which is really nice. You know, you're not gonna pull the knife out and then have the whole sheath coming out with it. So again, um, left or right side carry, as you guys can see right there. Um, and then it gives you the ability to, especially if you put it right here, the ability to kind of, you know, um, make the knife ride a little bit higher or lower. So you have that one, which again, it's called the simple sheet, uh, the simple clip. And then you have this one, which is called a um, rotatable clip. And that was pretty interesting when I saw it. So um, basically what you would do with this one is um, you, again, go ahead and attach it. And then if you loosen this screw right here, um, you can actually rotate this portion up or down um, if you wanted to um, carry it like uh, horizontal like this, you can go ahead and ro rotate it all the way up. And then you have your clip portion right here, which again does have the little piece at the bottom there, so it's not gonna come out when you unsheath the knife, when you pull it out. 
And again, you can now, you know, kind of pick the different holes where you want to go ahead and mount that. So I really do like this particular clip as well, just because it gives you, even though it's a little bulkier than um, this one, it gives you so many more options um, to carry it. You know, if you wanted to just carry it at an angle or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. And again, all you have to do is loosen that screw right there, um, you know, so, uh, place it at the angle that you want it to go and then um, cinch it down so it's nice and tight and then the knife will be um, in that orientation. So really cool. And again, you do get all the uh, accessories right in there to go ahead and attach the clips onto the sheath itself. So that is really cool. We'll set that off to the side and then we'll take a look at the knife itself. Let's go ahead and take it out of this plastic. And again, this one is called the Marlin. Really, really nice design. It's uh, really aggressive looking. And if, uh, you know, if I do say so, when I first saw it, I said, wow, that is really cool. It's got a lot of angles going on. Um, it kind of resembles a Marlin, I guess you would say, but you know, the Marlin does have that, um, that really, uh, straight look to it. If you, if you can envision the fish, you know, just because you have that point at the end, I don't know if it's the, the nose or what of the fish, but it kind of extends all the way out. So it's a, uh, at, at, if you look at it like this, it's a very flat, very straight look to the knife itself. I, I, I got to tell you, in hand, it is extremely, extremely comfortable. I like how wide the blade is in comparison to how narrow the handle. Um, but again, I have large size hands. Um, they are thin, but they're large. And um, I, ha I got a, four, a full four finger purchase on the handle and I can wrap all the way around it. And my thumb naturally rests in this area right here. We do have that little ramp right there and then some jimping at the back of the spine right there. I can tell you this jimping is extremely aggressive. So, um, you know, it's if, if you're gonna have your hands are gonna be wet or, or something like that, you're not gonna have to worry about it slipping. You know, your thumb is gonna lock right in there very very aggressive obviously it is a full tang knife um, the um, blade material on this is d2 so again um, really nice workable steel um, the grinds on this um, again very 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 interesting grinds um, you do have uh, a little bit of a um, an area right here so if you have to do some push cuts and stuff like that very easy to do and then it kind of sweeps up right there so again um, any type of slashing or skinning or anything like that and then it does come to a nice aggressive tip um, it is not a very wide blade but um, I can tell you that you have a lot of material right up here so um, if you do have to pierce things and stuff like that you're not going to have to worry about the uh, the tip breaking too too badly or at all if that um, the handles are uh, G10 and they do have this uh, this nice pattern on it which gives you a lot of grip and then you have the screws right here um, um, which you can go ahead and remove if you wanted to and maybe you know if you wanted to wrap this with paracord or something like that you can go ahead and do that as well and then you do have a nice size lanyard hole right at the bottom there so you can throw on a, a lanyard if you wanted to maybe something decorative or if you wanted to throw something to kind of go around your wrist or something like that you can go ahead and do that right there also now what you're getting out of this knife is is the total length is 8.25 inches. You do get a four inch blade or um, cutting edge on the blade right there. So again, um, perfect for um, just, you know, whatever task you're gonna throw on this. Um, again, you can, you know, either even angle up here and then you know to do some scoring cuts if you needed to. Uh, you can do use this uh, almost like a secondary point right there, um, almost what you get out of some of the Tontos. And um, if you wanted to use that to cut, you can do that also. So again, really, really versatile knife. Um, it is coming in at 4.9 ounces, so not heavy at all. Very, very manageable weight on this. Uh, let's go ahead and put it inside of the sheath so you guys can see what that looks like. Nice audible click. No rattle or anything like that on the sheath. Again, really nice presentation there. Um, it's a very thin um, form factor, very compact, very easy to carry. Uh, the knife releases from the sheath very nicely. Uh, and again, it locks in there very, very well. You do have a small little drainage hole at the bottom there. So if you do get some water coming in, it'll drain right out. So um, I think this is a really, really awesome um, foray into um, their first fixed blade from uh, Tac Knives. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with them, they make some really, really awesome stuff. I'll leave a link below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. Now, um, right now, I was looking on the site and it only comes in this conf configuration. So again, the D2 stone wash blade with the um, these kind of green, olive green um, G10 scales. But I think 
you know, this is really cool. I really like this color combination. Um, again, you know, some folks might want something different. So depending on how good these do, they might, you know, make them in other colors, especially like the handles and stuff like that. That's pretty easy to do. But I think all in all, I, I really do enjoy the look and feel of this knife. And one last thing, and maybe one of the best things is this knife right here retails for $44.95. So sub $45 for what you're getting here, I think it's a really awesome deal. Uh, again, if you guys are into fixed blades, um, if you guys are into tack knives as a company, I would definitely recommend that you check out the Marlin because I think it is a really, really awesome bang for your buck. Uh, for $45, sub $45, um, you're getting a really awesome blade and you know definitely worth a pickup even to test it out and you know maybe take it out to the woods or you know EDC it if you wanted to you know you could probably EDC this um, you know uh, very easily again thanks to the thin form factor and a nice compact design um, I could easily see you know carrying this knife as part of my EDC again it's a little bit aggressive for uh, for a everyday carry knife but um, very versatile with everything that you can do with just all the different features of the knife itself so uh, there it is that is a look at the Tac Knives Marlin, their first fixed blade. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.